Hi, I'm Sean from DishonorableSpeechAndPolitics.com, and today I'm going to go over some analyses I did of tweets from 2022 U.S. Senate candidates from Georgia. I examined Democrat Raphael Warnock's and Republican Herschel Walker's tweets over a two-month time period to assess whose were more negative, whose promoted more personal responsibility, and whose were more misleading or misrepresenting of reality. Here then are the ratings. Walker's Twitter negativity rating was twice that of Warnock, meaning Walker's tweets were more negative in my assessment. By my assessment, Warnock's tweets implied dishonesty or stealing on six occasions, apparently assumed bad intent or beliefs on three occasions, and implied incompetence three times. I assessed Walker's tweets to have apparently assumed bad intent or beliefs on ten occasions, implied dishonesty or stealing four times, implied incompetence four times, and blamed on four occasions. Also, I made a list of the subjects of the negativity of the tweets. I assessed Warnock's tweets as containing negativity aimed at the following on these number of occasions. Companies and corporations topped the list. For Walker's tweets, Biden topped the list of where negativity was directed, followed by Raphael Warnock. For the promoting personal irresponsibility ratings, the biggest contributors were promoting entitlement and victimhood for both Warnock and Walker, while blaming also contributed a little less than half to this rating for Walker's tweets. Warnock promoted entitlement especially regarding capping insulin costs. This promoting of entitlement also contributed to his misrepresenting reality and misleading rating.